Hey there and welcome back. This is Dave Gardner from MagneticSponsors.com and this is lesson two review of the Empower Network's 15K formula with compelling content and creating traffic for your blog. Now this lesson two was hosted by uh, Chris Record, a leader in the Empower Network and online as well. He's the creator, I believe, of Social Media Bar that allows you to uh, put, put posts on social networks such as Facebook that will often block posts but instead, you'll be able to share the post instead. So there are some places that will be blocked by places like Facebook. And if you go to Social Media Bar, you can enter your content, and then it kind of masks it so that you can actually carry that out. Um, Empower Network itself has something called the Badass Button. Um, so there's other things as well that you can actually get in there as they've gone through and changed some of their policies with some things that you can post and some things you can't. One of the key things we're going to talk about today uh, that I picked up as well as some of the aha moments is the idea of building your list with your blog that you always want to bring people back to the blog and then you could always share them from the blog to that third party being the Empower Network or any other uh, you know program that you might be involved with whether you're in a nutraceutical company or you know you're into you know some other tools and products and services uh, you know bring them to your blog first and then share them don't try to just post something directly to another website because you want to have uh, people bringing it to you because building your list is rule number one so um, I'm going to go through uh, my notes here. You might hear a page flip back and forth, uh, but we got some really good stuff today. I'm going to give you just some of the key points that I pulled out, but if you really want to get more, this is a two-hour webinar, and I'm cutting it down and just consolidating it, and he went through and actually showed some stuff from the blog, and just generalize if you have a blog or if you actually have the Empower blog, these are things you can incorporate. So again, you really want to get in and, and actually join and test out. You can go to thedavidgardner.com slash blogging. Right now, if you want to test out the blogging software with the Empower Network. But again, that's not necessary uh, just to learn a little bit about what's going on here. So let's get at it. So what Chris shared with us today is that, you know, of course, focused uh, on blogging this one, that you maybe want to hit on things that are always trending and product reviews within that industry because people are always searching for other things. And if something is trending, it's going to be one of those top things on the website right now. So you can jump on the bandwagon there, and maybe get some traffic to your website. And one of the biggest mistakes you could ever make, of course, is not getting people to your page and creating a list. It's one of the biggest things that I made a mistake on early on. I was sending traffic to other people's websites, but never to my own. So it's one of those things I've that I've uh, improved on and changed as time goes on since I became an online marketer a few years ago. So you want to know, of course, you, you know what your why is, and you have to be driven when you're doing this. And as you go through the process, you want to learn from others. So, for example, wisdom comes from mistakes and mentors, is what Chris said, which I thought was a really cool thing. And he focuses on the three C's of create, capture, and convert, being creating more traffic, capturing more leads, and, of course, converting more sales. And it's a process that will continue to build as you uh, develop your own uh, process and style with online marketing. One of the key things, of course, is to have the mindset of a successful marketer and realize that it's going to take time to create this. You know, it's time for Google to index your blogs. It's not going to happen instantly, but it's also going to take time, and it's going to use that time to build residual leads and traffic uh, for a long time. It's going to take some work. It's going to take effort. It is a job, okay? It's called networking. If you think about it, it's called work. It's in there, okay? You do have to put some effort in. So it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. And it's a not a get rich quick process, but you can make sales years and years later from a blog post that you did maybe uh, many, many months ago. So if you want immediate income, though, you need to be getting into paid advertising because that's going to drive traffic a little bit quicker. So maybe doing solo ads, uh, pay-per-click advertising, Facebook advertising, things like that. But if you just want generic uh, blogging um, traffic and, and social media traffic, this is what this really uh, scoped on and, and dealt with here. It's going to take time to build. So keep that in mind because most most of us aren't lucky, um, and I really like what Chris said here. Chris's definition of luck, L-U-C-K, was labor under correct knowledge. So if you put that effort in, maybe you do create your own luck because you've actually built a system. So you have to get out there. You have to blog daily. You have to tell others about it. you got to share it, and eventually you're going to start get paid for it. Okay, you, you can't just uh, go out there and blog and expect success. You have to tell others through promotions. You have to promote on social media. You have to promote on Pingler.com. You have to go and add it to your email signatures. You have to add it into the email, you know, email your list itself, maybe an email broadcast. You've got to do blog posts and comments on other sites and, and bring it back if there's a place for you to actually put your website. Link back to that actual article that might be more closely or most closely related to that content and get people back to your blog as well. 
So one of the key th uh, things that may, most people get in there, and, and again, I've been guilty of it as well, is that you spend too much time blogging. You want to try to limit yourself to you know maybe 30 minutes or an hour and then cut yourself off. If you make it to an hour and you don't do it, just publish what you got. You can always come back. I live on the philosophy of Tarl. Take action, revise later. Get your content out there, share it. You can always have questions that are brought up, maybe if they're incomplete, and maybe that will create a different title or a different category for another bl uh, blog post in the future. So, again, you want to make sure that you are carrying out and actually taking action. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, with blog comments, if you're going to comment on other people and have your face show up, you want to use a website called Gravitar.com. G-R-A-V-I-T-A-R. Gravitar. And that's going to allow you to have a face that shows up or a picture of you and your image when you leave posts on other people's comment or com comments on other people's blog posts. So make sure you're throwing that in there as well. And it's, it's nice when you have people leave that as well. So when you're putting out your content, make sure you have some goals of both profit and also passion. You, of course, want to have profit in the long run, but you want to be passionate about it and actually keep energized as you're going through. If you're coming up with a title, feel free to use something that's longer than an actual uh, title itself that you might normally see because you don't want it to be generalized and short. You want to actually be specific. So feel free to look at other people's blogs in your niche and get an idea of what a good title would be to try to be more specific because you might capture that keyword and rank higher for that keyword instead of just being something that's very generic. And overall, when you're doing your blog, have a generalized theme. You want to have uh, content that's consistent throughout your whole blog and you see that you're writing about the same thing, you know, most of the time, maybe it's all marketing, or maybe it's all about sports, maybe it's all about a specific sport. Now, one of the key things that you can do for something like this is you can take reviews and go over and, you know, talk about aha moments and things you built off, uh, for example, like what I'm doing with the Inner Circle, and, and in this case, the 15K formula for Empower Network, and I'm not plagiarizing, of course, word for word, and I'm just giving some of like the, the Cliff's No Summaries. Like I said, this was a two-hour webinar that you really need to get in, you know, pull that credit card out, and actually, you know, become a member of the inner circle and then become a member of the 15k formula if you really want to get the full deal okay if you just want to get some of the generic i'm hoping you're going to pick up some good stuff because i'm going to share with you some good ideas but of course you want to go to that next level to get really the the ins and outs of what else was, was presented there um so Every time you are having uh, some information that's presented, again, you're going to be passionate about something. You might not want to give someone 100%. And then the question is, okay, you know, how do you get people to come in and follow through so that they want more? You know, this is where the call to action comes in. Maybe if you give them, you know, some of the curiosity and you give some of the main points, but you kind of just leave them, you know, like a cliffhanger and leave it on the edge, give a call to action. You know, maybe if it's for a different product, let's say you're promoting something like, for example, I'm very passionate about the lacrosse sport, and if I'm promoting something in the lacrosse niche and I say, hey, you know, would you like to, you know, also share your, you know, videos and your content and your, you know, your ideas and your stick tricks for lacrosse and actually get paid for it, you know, just take action right now and click this button and see how I'm doing it because this is how I do, you know, part-time. I'm a full-time teacher, but I make a side income by posting things that I'm passionate about, for example, in lacrosse and I make an income. So, you know, there's lots of ways that you can present it, but, you know, again, being passionate about some things and also doing product reviews, you can always have that tie-in. Okay, if you're a trending product or topic, excuse me, you can go and do the same thing. You know, how would you like to get paid to share uh, viral videos? You're doing it anyways for free, and you're actually benefiting, you know, the actual website. Why don't you get the benefit as well? So um, getting back, I kind of uh, left off there for a minute. Let's get back to the idea of the titles. Don't just put something that's generic. You want to be able to stand out so that you actually attract the right people. So instead of just saying oatmeal cookies, which everyone might like, you might say, you know, how to make oatmeal cookies using applesauce. And that becomes very specific. Then later in your call to action, maybe you have people that are searching that that actually have recipes and, and do other things in cooking and say, you know, how would you like to share your, you know, oatmeal recipes and get paid for it? That would be the call to action and say, just click below and see how I'm doing it myself or see how others like me are being successful doing it as well. So, again, trending things and things that you're passionate about are always good things to post out there. And one of the key things is don't worry about what other people think. You have to do this for your own will. You're going to be getting better as you do this, but you've got to put your stuff out there and know that you're passionate about it, and people will understand that you're passionate about it as well, and you'll start to generate a crowd. It's not going to be you know, a 10,000 you know, 10, list or 100,000 list of email subscribers first. It might only be 10, 15, 20 people, but you have to start somewhere. Okay? I love the phrase, you know, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Right? You can't do everything all at once. 
And as the other main phrase that you're probably familiar with, Rome wasn't built in a day. So you have to consider that some things take a lot of time, so be patient with this. But you want to do, when you make some content, let's say if you're, if you're doing more of the marketing, maybe do a couple blog posts a day where you can actually uh, create some content that's just general to draw and build traffic that might eventually build into people uh, looking at the opportunity, but also do a blog post that's geared just towards your team. And what this does, not only does it help you know communicate and engage with your team, it also trains them. They start to mimic it, and then they're going to start to do it. But it also gives you an excuse, excuse again, just to email them and stay in touch with them and make sure that they're actually following the process. Um, a few minutes ago, I mentioned the idea of, you know, maybe timing yourself. You don't necessarily want to have to go through and, and what, what Chris called speed blogging, but you don't want to make sure that you're, excuse me, you want to make sure that you're not spending, you know, eight hours just to do one blog post. You want to make sure you get that out there, you know, half an hour tops, 30 minutes, uh, you know, do a blog post. Force yourself to do it and get it done with. You know, maybe find yourself a picture because that's always good. Make sure you give your picture t uh, tag titles and alternate tag titles so that they can be searched by the search engines and be indexed. If you don't leave a title or if you leave it like, you know, you look up pictures in your, your iPhone and, you know, off the web, they might the picture uh, file name might be I0047PH0325 dot jpg or something like that but instead you want to make sure that that instead would say something like you know oatmeal cookies with applesauce dot jpeg now therefore that's going to show up better when people search for oatmeal cookies they're going to look up images um again so you want to be passionate about what you're doing right here the whole time and the more you get out in the beginning the better it's going to be so maybe take something that you think should be a huge blog post and actually break it down into three or four blog posts and then you could actually have you know part one part two part three and part four and then you can actually link those blog posts together. Um, so one of the questions is, you know, how do you find maybe some things that are popular, maybe in your niche, that you can actually pull off and put on your blog post? Instead of creating the video yourself, you can pull other people's videos. All you have to do is go to youtube.com slash charts and search for the top videos or popular videos. Maybe there's a search and you can actually search for cookies, oatmeal cookies, you know, all around the holiday times. Of course, these might be a little bit more prevalent. But people are doing it all year, so just kind of keep that in mind. One of the things to, to consider and suggest is that you do not use the same title that is in someone else's or even your own videos as the title of your actual blog post. Because what happens is the Google search engines might consider that as being duplicate content. And what they do is they start to you know lower the rankings, and it doesn't really get as much weight from that uh, as you would have really appreciated. So maybe use something that's very similar so you can rank for multiple things, especially if it's your video. Uh, continuing on here, again, I'm going through some great content here. Again, it was a two-hour video, a uh, two-hour webinar, excuse me. I'm cutting it down and briefing you on just some of the aha moments that I pulled off of here. Um, another key thing was the idea on Facebook. Again, I'm 100% I'm guilty on this, that I see a video on Facebook, and I instantly just click sharing it. Instead of you know finding that video on YouTube and actually embedding the video on my blog and then taking my blog post link and putting that on my Facebook page. That would be a better way because instead they can still see the video, but now they're going to come to my blog instead. They're going to see it. Maybe they're going to have a call to action and maybe they're going to take the next step to finding and how I find out how maybe they can make some income on the side just by sharing videos. Okay. Same thing with other networks. You know, you go to AOL, you go to Huffington Post, you go to, you know, any of those crazy websites, uh, viralvideos.com, things like that. And there's those like and share buttons. So you click the like button and it automatically goes and shares it. But instead, you could put some of that same content, maybe take a quote or a comment or maybe a picture or an image uh, from that website and, of course, give credit back to it, of course, where credit is due, but then put it on your blog and then share your blog post. So people are coming to your blog and talking about your blog and not necessarily just someone else's blog. Okay, you're being the middleman in generating that traffic. Um, Again, getting back to calls to action here, one of the key things here, we always want to have a call to action, always, always, always. The most important thing, of course, you can do is build your list. And remember that places like Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, those really aren't your list. Okay, You have to remember that you want to bring people into what's known as an email autoresponder, that little box where you can in, you know, input your email or your name 
and then you start getting follow-up messages, you want to build up your own list that is your, is yours. You know, tomorrow Facebook might shut you down or, or freeze you, put you in Facebook jail. You know, YouTube might block you and, and kick you off because someone thought your uh, content or message was spam. And next thing you know, all of a sudden, maybe you have, you know, 100, 100 subscribers or even 100,000 subscribers and, and followers on those social networks. Next thing you know, they're all gone. But if you have it on your email autoresponder, different story. You can keep emailing them and follow them up, even if your social media gets shut down. So one cool thing that, you know, maybe if you have an image or, you know, a link on your website, maybe open it up in a new window so people are still seeing the same content or blog post, but maybe a new window opens up that they click that gives them the opportunity to input their information or their, their uh, you know, their content, their name and their email, and then get on your list. Maybe find out how to, you know, maybe make money on the side doing something like this, what we're doing right here. So one of the things with the call to action, they can really go anywhere. You can put it, most people put it at the end of a, of a blog post, but what you could also do to really change it up and tweak it up a little bit, maybe put a banner right at the front of the post, you know, getting people intrigued to see what's going on. Maybe put it in the middle of the post. The more you put it out there, the more likely they are to actually see what's going on. Um, so, for example, a good follow-up would be something like, before you leave, you know, are you a blogger, writer, or business owner, or similar? Uh, you know, this is how myself and so-and-so or, you know, so many others are earning an income online part-time just by sharing content. Okay, so there's lots of ways you can do this. And, of course, the whole time you want to try to be a compelling person. A lot of times how you say it is actually more important than what you say. Um, so, you know, a lot of the training and mindset that, that are inside the Empower Network Inner Circle really go on the idea of how to present this. So, you know, I would highly suggest checking that out at the davidgardner.com slash inner circle because they have three years plus of all the recordings. You can get in right now and you can get access to every single recording that's ever been made uh, since the inception of the Empower Network. So kind of getting in and, and summarizing some of this stuff as, as we kind of wrap up uh, this episode. Again, this is Lesson 2, Compelling Content and Creating Traffic for Your Blog for the 15K Formula. All right? You always want to tell people what to do next. And again, that's the CTA or the call to action. And this is, you know, one of the key things is to basically to get people to join your list. You want people to engage and follow along so that you can follow up with them. So always tell them what to do at the end of your videos as well as your any of your audios like I'm doing right now to you as the well as, excuse me, as well as your blog posts. And you want to tell them over and over and over again throughout your posting. And, um, excuse me, you want to re repeat the directions. It's suggested re doing it at least three times, basically giving three commands in this common, in, you know, this common theory and this idea. So, for example... You know, you would say now what you need to do next, of course, is, you know, click on this link or go to this website. And, you know, next part or part two would be what you'll see when you're at the website is a video of me showing you how to do, you know, A, B, and C. And now, you know, part three is, okay, go ahead and click the link right now. So I've gone through and given you basically three steps. And, you know, you could repeat that as you go through your uh, process. And then at the very end, maybe in a PS, you would say it again. Okay. Well, one of the things to keep in mind, you know, if you're just getting started, if this is your first day online in internet marketing and you have no background, feel free to share information of others that are in the same program. Okay. Look up and do some research on some of the industry leaders and talk about how they've had success and, you know, how you are going through it as well. And you're learning that and share your link with them. Be like, if you want to join our team, you know, put your link there. You don't have to tell them what your affiliate link is. You can mask that and embed it. Maybe you could do a different, you know, uh, you know, a custom domain. You can go to, uh, your review guru.com slash GoDaddy and pick up, um, you know, a custom domain name that you could then forward to your Empower Network link. Okay, so it just looks like it's yourname.com, but it actually drives traffic. So people think they're dry, you know, they're going to be joining the, the big leaders, but in reality, they're going to be joining you, and then they'll actually have access to the leaders in, for example, the Facebook groups, the live trainings, you know, the you know the Empower Hour call every week, so on and so forth. So my task for you, of course, is to go out, and, and it's easy. Take what you learned right here, and you can go out and write a blog post about it. And you can link back to me. That would be a great thing to do, and I'll link back to you. Leave a comment below. I'll comment back to you. So there's a lot you can do. So, again, you always want to tell people what to do at the end, and you want to keep taking action every single time. If you join a course, if you pay for something, take access on it. Use it, go through it, write notes, write a blog post, share that with the world so you can start to generate traffic back to you. Okay, if you post a video up on YouTube about it, bring it back to your website, put the, put the, embed the code on there so you actually have the video on your blog and then share that in your social network, share it on Twitter, share it on Pingler.com, share it all over the place. 
Okay, let people know what's going on. So I hope you've enjoyed this again. This has been Dave Gardner from MagneticSponsors.com. You can email me at DaveGardner at MagneticSponsors.com with any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns. Give me a phone call at 315-559-2784. And hit up this link right now. Go to the DavidGardner.com slash inner circle to take your business to the next level with weekly conversations, trainings, tips, and more with the Empower Network. And then get the upgrade when you can for the 15K formula. I hope you've appreciated this, and I look forward to helping you in the future.